Hey everyone, I'm back to Bosse, which is close to Geneva in Switzerland. And this is where I'm, I do my coaching education and I'm here for this week for module 3. I love this place, it's very... Look at this. I want to talk a bit about the new plans for my channel and what has been going on. But before that I would like to thank my YouTube parents. I'm going to call you that. So one would be Paul Tok, who has been um, commenting uh, my adventures here for for a while now, since January. I always appreciate it when you come by. The other is Dragon Mountain Diaries. These two people have been following me since the beginning and I really appreciate you commenting on my stuff. Um, it makes you feel less alone. More people to thank. I would like to thank my patrons over on Patreon. I have two people who have been supporting me also since the very beginning. The news is that you will now be able to have some more advantages if you become a patron. One is I created a private Facebook group so you will get access to that where we can kind of help each other accountability that kind of thing share resources I have to talk a bit about Sorters Club. Sorters Club is this platform that I developed almost a year ago for people who want to sort themselves out following Jordan Peterson's advice and it was available for free until now still available for free for those who have subscribed until now but the problem is I have been neglecting it. What I decided to do was kind of a tough call was to move Sorters Club so that I can also over time add features that are related to the things that we are going to be talking about in on the channel. Sorters Club is now called the Nick Redmark Community App and it's available at app.nickredmark.com What I'm planning to do is to come out with three weekly pieces of content. One will be a kind of an instructional theory video about how to become more effective in life and one will be more vlog community like this one where I talk about what's going on in the community what's going on in my life but also what's going on in the more general rational self-help field what is rational self-help I distinguish rational self-help from other types of self-help that are more based on for example mindset or willpower or I don't know making money let's say my niche is within the niche of making good decisions based on insights and thinking and rational analysis. This is what you can expect here, but I'm not the only one doing this kind of thing. People who are kind of in this field would include Tim Ferriss for his kind of deconstructing the successful approach. Very rational, very interesting. Alain de Botton, the entrepreneur behind the School of Life. Beautiful channel. Check it out if you haven't. The whole channel has this kind of healing vibe, you know, like getting more self-acceptance through insight, philosophy, psychology. Another person I respect a lot is Maria Popova with her Brain Pickings website. Her approach is maybe less based on science, it's more based on culture, literature, philosophy. She reads the great and distills some nuggets of wisdom out of them. Okay, someone you wouldn't expect, but still belongs to this, is Joe Rogan. And, I mean, Joe Rogan is... It's interesting, because he doesn't look like an intellectual, right? But the conversations he has show that he's actually quite smart. But most importantly, he embodies these values of openness, honest conversations and skepticism at the same time. He, if you follow him for a while, he actually looks like a quite reasonable person. Then if we move towards the kind of more weird spiritual angle of this, I would mention Sam Harris. One of his best books is called Waking Up, where he talks about spirituality without religion. And again, it's about uh, achieving the highest potential of your mind through philosophy, rationality, science, 
that kind of thing. And then I would put Jordan Peterson in this, uh, even though he has a complete different angle, um, and he might be a bit more woo than many would like, but still he tries to separate his theories from actual beliefs about the metaphysical, um, about God and that kind of stuff. There is a reason why his biblical lectures are called the psychological significance of the biblical stories. Another thing that I appreciate of Jordan Peterson is his attempt to make those um, insights into practical, actionable advice. Okay, I have to go.